Children, in our previous sessions, we have learned about various application softwares such as Word, PowerPoint, Paint, etc. Today, we will learn about a very important software, called Microsoft Excel. It is also called as Spreadsheet Software. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program that is used to record and analyze numerical data. Let's begin. Microsoft Excel 2010 An Introduction Microsoft Excel is one of the most popular spreadsheet software. It is widely used to perform mathematical calculations. The data is spread in a tabular form, consisting of rows and columns. It provides inbuilt features and tools, such as, formulas, functions, and data analysis tools, that make it easier to work with large amount of data. Features of Excel Formulas are mainly used for performing simple and complex mathematical calculations. Functions are built-in formulas used for calculating the percentage, interest, average, etc. Formatting features improve the appearance of data. The data is automatically recalculated in the entire worksheet if any change is made in a single cell. The data can be quickly searched and replaced instantly. Autofill option is available to enter data in a series in MS Excel. The data can be viewed in a graphical form, such as charts, which help us to understand, analyze, and compare data in an effective manner. To start Microsoft Excel, click on Start button. Click on All Programs. Click on Microsoft Office and select Microsoft Excel 2010. Workbook and Worksheet The Excel window that appears on the screen is called a workbook. It is assigned a default name as Book 1. The workbook is like a notebook. A worksheet is a grid area, made up of rows and columns, where you can enter and work with data. By default, an Excel workbook displays three worksheets at the bottom, with names Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and Sheet 3. You can add any number of the worksheet in a workbook according to the limits of memory available on a computer. A worksheet consists of 48,576 rows and 16,384 columns. Columns are represented by alphabets on the top, and rows have numbers on the left side of the worksheet. Look at the spreadsheet window. Let's learn about the components of a worksheet. Cell a cell is an intersection of a column and row in a worksheet. Each cell is denoted by a cell address. For example, A5 refers to the cell, at the intersection of column A and row 5. Data is entered in a cell. A cell can contain up to 32,767 characters. Active cell when you click on a cell, a thick black border differentiates it from the rest of the cells. It indicates that the current cell is active. The highlighted box is called cell pointer. Range A range is a group of contiguous cells, which form the shape of a rectangle. It can be as small as a single cell or as big as an entire worksheet. You can specify a range by writing the starting cell address, followed by the ending cell address. Both are separated by a colon. For example C1 colon C10. Column headings. Alphabets across the top border of each worksheet are called column headings. These headings identify columns with letters A to Z. 
A8 through as and up to XFD for total of 16,384 columns. Row headings Row headings are the numbers assigned to the rows, marked as 1 to 10 lakh 48,576 along the left border of the worksheet. Name box Name box is located just above the column headings on the left side of the window. This area displays the location of the cell pointer. Formula bar The formula bar is located to the right of the name box. This bar shows the data and formulas that you enter in an active cell. Status bar The status bar is located at the bottom of the Excel window. It gives you the information about the current selection. It includes the name of the currently selected command or current activity. To input the data in a worksheet, you have to move the cell pointer from one cell to another with the help of various keys given in the table. Arrow keys are used to move a column right or left. And A, row up and down, page up. It moves one screen up in a worksheet, page down. It moves one screen down in a worksheet. Control plus home moves the cell pointer to the first cell of the topmost row, that is A1. Control plus end moves the cell pointer to the last used cell on a spreadsheet. To enter the data in a worksheet, open a new workbook. By default, sheet 1 is the active worksheet. Click on the cell D1 and type monthly expenses. Select the cells C1 to F1, and click on the Merge and Center button, in the Alignment Group of Home tab. Now, click on cell A2 and type Items. Press the right arrow key. Type Monday in B2, Tuesday in C2 and so on till Saturday. Click on the cell A3. Type Eatables and press Enter key. The cell pointer shift to cell A4. Type cold drink and press down arrow key to move to cell A5. And type milk. Similarly, enter the remaining data. Type of data. Three types of data can be entered in Microsoft Excel worksheet, which is numbers, text, and formulas numbers numbers are values that consist of numerals from 0 to 9 characters like plus dash at percent etc are also included in numeric data they can be used in calculations in addition to actual numbers Excel also stores date and time as numbers by default Numbers are right aligned in a cell. Text Text data can contain letters, numbers, spaces, and special characters. Text data is not used in calculations. By default, text data is left aligned in the cell. Formulas A formula is a mathematical equation involving numbers, values, operators and cell addresses, used for performing calculations on the worksheet. Formulas can range from basic mathematical operations, to complex calculations. Formulas, generally, begin with an equal to sign. Performing calculations Excel has a powerful feature to perform calculations on the data. You can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers either using formulas or functions. Formulas are equations that perform calculations on values in your worksheet. A formula consists of a combination of cell references, numbers, operators, and Excel functions. The result of calculation is displayed in the cell where the formula is entered.
Let us see an example. To calculate the total expense in H3, type equals P3 plus C3 plus E3 plus F3 plus G3 and press enter key. The sum will be displayed in the cell H3. You can use either uppercase or lowercase letters while entering the cell address in the formula. Excel also provides auto sum feature which is a quicker and easier way of performing calculations. Have a look on the use of the auto sum feature. Observe carefully. Note. Excel also provides special built-in mathematical functions, such as sum, average, count, etc. For example, instead of typing a long formula, the sum function can also be used to calculate the total expense. Type equals sum before G4 and press the enter key. Similarly, you can use average, count, max, and min functions. switching between worksheets. When you add a number of worksheets, only a few worksheets can be seen on the screen. To switch between the worksheets, click on the arrow buttons given on the worksheet tab. Renaming the worksheet. To rename a worksheet, double click on the sheet tab that you want to rename. It will be highlighted. Type a new name and press enter key. Adding a new worksheet. To add a new worksheet, select the sheet before which you want to add a new worksheet. Right click on the sheet tab and select the insert option. Select the worksheet option and click OK. Or, you can simply click on the insert sheet icon, which is present next to the end of sheet 3 tab. Removing a worksheet. Place the mouse pointer on the worksheet tab that you want to delete. Right click on the worksheet tab and select the delete option. Saving a workbook. To save a workbook, click on the file tab and select save as option. A save dialog box appears. Enter the file name and click on the save button. The file will be saved with an extension .xlsx. Tip you can save your file using the key combination, Ctrl plus S. You can also select the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar. F12 key in Microsoft Excel 2010 displays the Save As dialog box. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.